You know, North City, Nova Scotia is well known for its great athletes, uh, various sports. But this guy kind of stands out because if you're thinking of every minor and major hockey league team of the 60s and 70s, either he played for it or he played with players that played for these teams. So today we're going to be talking about the curious case of the very talented and the very have hockey stick will travel, Paul Andrea. Now, Paul Andrea, again, born in North, North Sydney, July 31st, 1941. First came to major prominence in the OHA with Guelph. He played with the Biltmores in 59 and 60. Third season, he played with the Guelph Royals of the OHA, put up 62 points in 48 games. Now, there was no draft around at the time, ladies and gentlemen, but he eventually found his way to the New York Rangers system. Now, he played with Kitchener Waterloo Beavers of the EPHL in 61 for two games, played with Kitchener of the EPHL and Vancouver the WHL in 62, mostly at right wing. Uh, Sudbury Wolves EPHL in 63, then the St. Paul Rangers in 64 and 65 of the CHL. Now, second season with St. Paul, put up 64 points in 65 games. Now, 66, found his first NHL uh, games with the New York Rangers with two assists in uh, two points in four games and put up 80 points with the Minnesota Rangers, again, of the CHL. Now, with the Omaha Knights of the CHL, 83 points in 69 games to 67. Now, with expansion, he became one of the first players of the Pittsburgh Penguins. 32 points in 65 games and 68, including 11 goals. 69, second season with Pittsburgh, put up 13 points in 25 games, but ended up in Amarillo most of the season, CHL, 52 points in 47 games. Now, his career season for a lot of his fans, he put up 91 points in the 19... 70 season with the Vancouver Canucks, 44 goals in the regular season, 12 points in the playoffs. Now, 71, this is kind of a, another bizarre turn, turn of events. With the second expansion, he went from the California Golden Seals to being an original Buffalo Sabre, and in 47 games with the Sabres that year, put up 32 points in 47 games. So, just as a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, an original Pittsburgh Penguin, an original Sabre. 72, he found himself back in the AHL, uh, or excuse me, minor pro, 72 points in 69 games, including 14 goals, uh, and with the Cincinnati Swords. Now, with the expansion of major pro hockey, including another league, he became an original Cleveland Crusader in 1973, put up a big 21 goals in 66 games, and 10 points in their playoff run that year. 74, again, almost a full season with Cleveland, 33 points in 69 games, including 15 goals, also skated that year with the Jacksonville Bears of the AHL. Now, back in minor pro in 75, he skated with the Tulsa Oilers of the CHL and the Cape Codders of the NAHL, 42 games that season, 13 goals, 32 assists for 46 points. Now, a very interesting career, final NHL totals, 80, 80 points, 150 games, 31 uh, goals, and again, most of those came, uh, again, in that uh, in a, the expansion years with Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Uh, WHA totals, 84 points in 135 games. Again, a teammate of Jerry Cheevers and Bender, uh, and 14, 11 points in 14 playoff games with Cleveland, because he was also part of their playoff drive in 74. Now, for, uh, for a, a lot of people, uh, playing with the Mad Hatters really drew a lot of attention towards his career. Now, we all know that uh, uh, players like him get kind of a loss in the uh, uh, loss in the shuffle. But 5'10", 170, your prototypical great Nova Scotia born and bred hockey player. If you've ever been to North Sydney, you know that, again, the, the talent in there is like a river. It flows from generation to generation. Now, I think Paul Andrea, if I'm not mistaken, I'll have to check on that. He is in a Hall of Fame someplace, but I don't know which one. Because uh, with that type of uh, total, there's going to be at least one Hall of Fame that uh, that put him in. And uh, the, the idea with this, if you look up at these photos uh, online, yes, that's what I'm saying. Uh, Nova Scotia Sports. Hall of Fame. My God, I found it, ladies and gentlemen. I thought he was in North Sydney, but he is in uh, Nova Scotia. Now, he got a very interesting uh, nickname. Now, uh, a lot of people don't know what jigging means. 
digging means you're not going to school or you take time off school while you're already there. And uh, uh, Jigger, again, uh, with the Kitchener Waterloo Beavers of EPHL, uh, you know, uh, now, he was also part of that Memorial Cup winner with the Guelph Built Moors years and years ago. And, uh, but like I said, some people said, now this is kind of weird, uh, and it is, when the Pittsburgh Penguins first did their promotion, like photos, that, you know, big letter Pittsburgh jersey that Sidney Crosby, get this, had worn later on, a great native of Nova Scotia. A lot of people said, oh, I've seen that jersey before, and people say, yeah, Paul wore that. So, I mean, uh, and uh, he was inducted in that Hall of Fame, ladies and gentlemen, 41 years ago, 1980 induction. So I apologize. I knew he was in some place. I wasn't sure. He was in the Cape Breton uh, Sports Hall of Fame, but well-deserved. And I don't know if any other player that was, ladies and gentlemen, was called Jigger. So maybe he was a great fisherman because, you know, jigging on the line. So anyway, that's the legend of the, the pride of North Sydney, Paul Andrea. If you like what we're doing here, we're a vintage maritime uh, major pro hockey uh, legends like Paul. Please let us know with a like, comment, subscribe. If you have any memories of Paul, and uh, because uh, no offense, 39 years ago in your Hall of Fame, in the next 70 years of your life, you know, uh, you can say that, uh, you know, how many people get in the Hall of Fame are only 39? Well, I... Not to sound weird, I got to do a Hall of Fame when I was, you know, 35, 34, I think, but it wasn't for sports, and it was for, you know, like a builder or media, but it's an awful recognition. You're not even, you know, 40 yet, and you're in a Hall of Fame. That's just tremendous. But what do you do with the rest of your life? You just sign autographs and say, thank you, thank you, the rest of your life? Of course not. But Paul has been an inspiration, I know, for a lot of people in Nova Scotia. The, the, the look back, especially... Uh, Pittsburgh for some reason and the reason why Pittsburgh was so popular uh, now with Cindy Crosby Pittsburgh has been very good to the Maritimes through the years you're going to just like I said go look it up so again thanks for listening bye